Once we've completed sign up, we can begin the setup process. First step is to enter our company's ABN. We can see the company name is looked up after we enter the number. Enter in the business address. Now for your payroll start date, in my case, I'm going to enter the 1st of August because I'm payrolling for August. And I'm going to select the frequency of monthly. The next step is to set up your super fund, set up additional settings, super funds, add super fund. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to fill in all these fields. What I will say is the ABN here is your super fund ABN, not your company. And the service add field here is the electronic service address used for self-managed super funds. Now let's add some employees, set up employee details, add employee. I'm going to add two employees. One will be casual, another one will be salary. Now our department will just be the default, which is our company name. You can set up your own specific departments through the setup menu. I'm going to select tax free threshold claim for the tax category. Pay slip category, just the default staff and rule set casual. All right, next we're going to go to the pay tab here and enter an hourly rate. And scroll down and select the super fund. Enter the member number. All right, now next we want to add our salary employee And this time for the rule set, we're going to select salary full time, 38 hour week. Okay, now I'll go to the pay tab, enter in a yearly salary. And select the super fund.
Now, what we might do as well is just enter in an initial leave balance for statutory annual leave of 40 hours. Something else that I want to do for my casual is I just want to switch off this option that auto creates timesheets for his working week. You can set up the working week here. So I want that switched on for my salaried staff member and turned off for my casual. So I'll turn that off. Hit save. Now we're ready to process a payroll. Click payroll. Create, just checking our dates. That's August, which is what we want. And we can see here a summary of what's to be paid out. We've got wages for our salaried employee because she's had her timesheets generated from her working week, which we saw earlier. And no wages yet for Jim because he doesn't have any timesheets in the system. So if I just review Jenny's timesheets, we can see it's entered in values there, timesheets there for 7.6 hours. We can go in and edit any of those. We can change the total length or enter in some actual hours. And we can also change it to a leave timesheet if we want. Now, just going to add a timesheet for Jim. Now we can select the shift that we'd entered earlier, or we can add a new one. And enter in the actual times. Go and enter an hour break. So now we've got some wages in there for Jim. You might notice that the, uh, the dollar value here is a little bit higher. And the reason for that is because he's paying at a $50 rate because in his rule set, there's a, a loading of 125%. And you can click on these arrows here to get some more detail. Now I'm happy with that so we're going to process. Payroll is complete. Now we want to process our single touch payroll. Export single touch payroll. Now, because this is the first time we've run through, we are seeing this message here that we do need to enable our software before we can submit our data. So click on the enable button. You'll be taken to this page. Fill in your details and click submit. And within one business day, your software will become enabled and you'll receive a, an email confirming that it has been completed, then you'll be able to run through the steps and submit your STP to the ATO.